All right, so today we're going to look at um, arc length, area of a sector, and area of a segment, which is the start of chapter 19. We just got to be really careful just with reading what they're actually asking you because um, sector and segment, look, they're sort of similar, and so, you know, you just got to re-remember. So when they talk about an arc length, they're actually just talking about the length along the edge of the circle. So it's ends up being part of the circumference that they're talking about. So when they say minor arc, it's because if the circle was broken up into um, an, two pieces, the smaller piece will be the minor arc. And then if you had a larger, um, the larger line around the edge, that will be the major arc. So, and um, so you think about it. So if you think about, if you're finding the circumference of a circle, um, the formula for that is actually two times pi times r. So some people use oh, sorry. that's okay. Some people use um, pi times d, but we're just I'm just going to stick with the two times pi times r. So what happens when they want you to find an arc length? They might give you a section of the circle. So they'll give you the degrees. So say they gave you that as 130 degrees. So really what you're thinking about is like, I've got 130 out of the full circle, which is 360. So that's what you're doing. And then you're timesing it by um, the formula for circumference. And the reason that they have they use that and then you can see you can actually cross cancel so two goes into two once and two goes into 180 and this is how they get this formula down here um, so that the length of an arc can be given by this formula where you're just doing pi times the radius times whatever angle how much the angle so that example I just did was 130 over 180 okay so it's quite simple so if we look at this doing this example here and it says find the length of the arc ACB so they're just showing you you're going through that way okay so if they didn't say that because you might go backwards and go the other way so they really want um, ACB is the minor arc because it's the smaller one okay so when you're trying to find it write your formula out so the formula for um, the arc is pi times the radius times the angle size over 180. So in this case, it's pi times 10 times 120 over 180. Now they're saying to one decimal place. So you type that into your uh, calculator. And I've done that up here. So one decimal place would be 20.9 centimeters so remember it's a length um so you're just in centimeters for that one all right so that's arc so now we're looking at area of a sector now a sect so area of a sector so a sector is like the piece of this the cake if you've got the circle you're taking out a whole chunk of it so you can see the formula there if you had an area of the circle um formula we know that that's pi r squared. So when you only want a certain part of it, so when we're saying, all right, they'll tell you how much of a full circle you've got, and that's how you get the sector formula to be just how much of a full circle you've got times by the formula for area of a circle. So that's where, how we can use this, all right? So in here though, in this question down here, they've asked me to, find the area of the minor sector. So the minor sector is this bit in here. So off I go, I'll do that. So area of a sector is pi r squared times the angle over 360. So then I look, I've got pi times 10 squared times the angle, which is 120 over 360. Um, they're saying correct to two decimal places. So if I go back here, I've done that. Um, here, pi times the radius squared times the angle over 360. 
and sorry I just did control enter to get the decimal answer and it said to one two decimal places so 104.72 centimeters squared and it's centimeters squared because it's area now now when they ask us for the major sector they're talking about the big piece out here and so you need to work out how many degrees that is and if the little one's 120 then this one must be 240 degrees because 360 minus 120 equals 240 all right so if we go find the area of um the major sector it'll be still times the radius pi times the radius times the bigger angle over 360 and we want to one decimal place so that's been done here um, so it'll be 209.4 centimeters squared okay so really easy now the area of a segment so what a segment is um, is when you've got uh, just so you know you've got a part of a circle and generally so if you first just cut it like that that bit is um, I've cut out a sector but then what they do is they um, they put a line across here and that line is, is a chord so when a chord cuts the circle across from one side to the other but not it's not necessarily through the middle okay so the segment um, that they're talking about when they're talking about area of a segment the segment is this bit just this bit in here that blue bit so um, and you obviously you still have your radius of the circle so in the end we're going to use um, this is for the segment this is the formula that I want you to use so segment just mark that that's the formula they do give another version of it um, and I, don't, I wish I'd rubbed that out so in your notes can you just um, erase that out it's just confusing and um, as I said I've seen students do it. it's just confuses them so just stick with one and I like this one because um, you can see if you look just to show you if you look at what you had here if I um, highlighted that whole bit I would have an area of a sector so you think if I had the area of a so first I had a um, a sector there okay now if I minus the area of that little triangle that's formed in here so what I'm showing you there's a see how when you cut off you get that triangle if I minus that triangle from um, that sector so the area of this triangle so that triangles in there if I minus that I end up with the segment so you end up with just that sorry that little blue bit down the bottom which would be in here okay so that's the way that formula is created because the area of a sector would be pi r squared times the angle so whatever angle they give over um, 360 and then what you're going to do is you're minusing um, the area of that triangle and what they've done is they've used that sine rule for the triangle and where you multiply the two sides you're given um, by a half and then sine the angle given now why is it radius squared because those two sides are going to be the same length so there's that so what I probably want you to write underneath this bit is just take note that that's the area of the triangle bit yeah because sometimes what if they might ask you for that bit and you have to be weary that that's the triangle bit and then this start bit is obviously the area of a sector okay just so you're aware so let's go find we can just use it 
it's okay if we're just finding a segment straight off but if we're trying to work out little different parts which often come up in harder questions we need to be able to break up that formula so area of a segment i'm doing this example we've got here so we're going to say it is um, pi r squared times the angle over 360 minus a half times r squared sine the angle. So in this case, it would be pi times 112 squared times 75 over 360 minus a half times 112 squared sine 75. Okay, and you'll end up with an answer, which I did here. And sorry, we don't have the exact. Um, so we come down here and we have, um, I'll just round to one whole number. We get 2152 millimeters squared. So just remember, it's an area. So you'd have squared units. All right, have a look. So here's some a couple of exam questions. So this was a question eight, so it's going to be quite difficult. Um, this was part of the solution. So I've just popped it in there so that you had part of this was part of the solutions. Okay, so you weren't given this; you were only given this diagram here. And it said three circles with the radius of fifty millimeters are placed so that they touch each other. The region enclosed by the circles is shaded in the diagram. So the area of the shaded region was. So what they did is they're showing you that if you're in the center of the circle and you go to the edge, that would be the radius. And then so would this. That would be the radius. And if I went there, that'd be the radius. There to there is the radius. Here to here, radius and radius. So in the end, you can have a triangle and because the, tr um, tr the radius is 50, they're saying two of them makes 100. So we've got a triangle that's all exactly the same side length. So if they're all exactly the same, that makes it an equilateral triangle. And an equilateral triangle means that the angles are all the same as well. So you now know that in there is 60. Okay, so what you can see is you've actually got three sectors formed there. So what I'm talking about is these are three sectors are getting formed inside this blue triangle. And so you can see if I found the total area of the triangle, and then I minus those three sectors out of it. So I'm talking about if I minus those three sectors out, um, I'll just draw them like that. You're going to be end up with just that shaded bit in the middle. Sorry, a bit, a bit dodgy, but there you go. So you're going to end up with that shaded bit in the middle <clears throat> so that's what we could do so first of all we have to see the area of a triangle so we have um we're going to find the area of this triangle and we're going to minus three times the area of a sector which remember is pi r squared angle over 360 and that will give us our answer all right so we've got an equilateral triangle. Which formula could we use? We could use Heron's formula for the triangle. So um, just do it up here. So Heron's, remember you need to find S first. So S is when you add up all the sides and you divide by two and you end up with, so that's 150. And then its formula, remember is S, um, minus s minus all the sides multiplied by it like that so in the end area will be the square root of 150 um, times 100 150 minus the sides 
and you do that three times so I'm gonna just cheat and put cube there but <clears throat> that's the same thing so if we go and do that on our calculator which I think I did up here so we found s then we put it into Heron's formula and I get that the area of the, that big blue triangle is 44330. Oh, okay. So I've found that this is 4330. And then I'm going to minus three times a sector, which is going to be pi times the radius. Now remember the radius is only 50. And the angle we know is 60 over 360 okay so we can do all this on the calculator so I just done that there um, I found that the area of one sector is 1309 so then I would be doing 4330 um, minus 3 times that 1309 and I've done all that on the calculator and I end up with 403. So there's the answer A. Okay. Sorry. Um, so that's it. So I just pop that in here because of the solutions to remind you. Okay. So we've then got this question here. The pie chart displays the results of a survey. 80% of the people agree. 20% um, disagree. The radius of the pie is 16 millimeters. The area of the segment represents agree in square millimeters is closest to. So normally we get given an angle amount. This one we've just been given a percentage. So the area will still be the same. It's area of a circle is pi r squared. And then you just times in by how much of the full circle you've got. So if you've got 80%, you've got 80 out of 100. So we're just going pi times, and they told me the radius was 16 squared times 80 over 100. And you end up with, um, if we do that on the calc, um, did I do that? Uh, yep, I did that. End up with 6, 4, 3. Okay? So it doesn't matter if they don't give you a degree, you just take well they gave me a percentage so I've got a proportion I've got how much I've got all right this is another one so this is 2019 you can see another question eight so it's the last question and they put four circles this time and they've said the shaded area so what you needed to do is do the same thing like you can get the center of the circle and see you've got the radius if I keep going like that what I end up doing is I create a square okay so this time I end up with a big a blue square and the radius so across here is two radius and this is two radius and so on so they'd all be that's their lengths and you can see when you do that cut you've got a quarter of the circle so if you look in here we have a quarter of the circle so 360 divided by um, 4 is 90 so you've actually got that that's 90 degrees in there okay so if you look we've actually got um, oh, that's a bad diagram. we've actually got three Oh god, that bad. But anyway, sectors there, haven't we? We've got this is one sector, two sectors, three sectors, four sectors. So if you're trying to find the area of the black bit in here, we're gonna say, well, that area is gonna be the area of the square minus four times we've got this sector here, okay? Now, if you think about it, so the area of um, the square will be 2r times 2r, because they're the two sides, minus 4 times. Now, we've got, 
if we've got four quarters, we end up with, but we can still do it. Let's just do it. It's four times the area of a, the sector, which is pi r squared over the angle over 360. So you end up with four pi r squared minus, and this is going to be, um, this will simplify down to pi, ans, pi r squared. Okay, sorry, we know that that's 90. All right, and you'll end up with um, it equaling uh, pi r, 4 pi r squared minus pi r squared. So the answer is D. All right. Um, this last one that I'm going to do is the windscreen wiper. So you've got a section of, you've got a sector of the circle. And really what you're saying is they say they want the shaded region. So really what you had, you had a big, sorry, you had a big sector and you minus um, a small sector, okay? And they both are 110 in there, degrees in that bit, but their radius is different. This one's radius is 39 and this one's radius is nine. Okay, so all you're gonna do is area of a sector minus that. So we're gonna, area of a sector is pi times the radius squared times the angle over 360 minus pi times this one's radius times the angle over 360. So if we do that on the calc, okay, so we get 13, 8, 2, which is B. So that was question seven. That's easy. You'd be loving that.